Welcome back to Morg Borg Tech. This is part three of my phone collection update for September 2023. Now, before I begin this part, I'll just let you know, I'll say it right now, all of these phones work. So, enjoy. First here, this is my Alcatel Big Easy Flip on track phone. Got this one in 2017, I believe. Here's my Motorola i875 on Boost Mobile. Got this one in 2016. Here's my Nokia 6019i on US Cellular. Got this one in 2019. And also just a note that at this point the sun is set where I am, so I'm using indoor lighting now. Here's my ZTE Symbol Z320 on Metro PCS. Got this one in 2021. Here's my Samsung... I forget what this is. I forget what carrier it's on as well. GTE 1050V. Here's my Motorola i90C on Nextel. Got this one in 2016. This is one of the first phones in my collection. If I remember right, it's actually in my original phone collection video. Here's my Kyocera Dura XV on Verizon. Got this one in 2021. Here's my Kyocera Milan on US Cellular. Got this one in 2019. Here's my Blackberry Pearl 8100 on AT&T. Got this one in 2016. Here's my Motorola V265 on Page Plus. Got this one in 2019. Here's my Alcatel 871A on AT&T. Got this one in 2021. Here's my Samsung something on Altel. I don't think it has a battery in it. Got this one in 2021. Looks like U520. Here's my Nokia 6300. Got this one in 2021. I forget what carrier it's on though. Here's my LG Exalt on Verizon. I believe I got this one in 2018. Here's my Motorola i730 on Nextel. Got this one in 2016. Here's my T-Mobile Spark 2. Got this one in 2016. Here's my LG Freedom on US Cellular. Got this one in 2022, if I remember right. Here's my Samsung SPH A640 on Virgin Mobile Canada. Got this one in 2022. Here's my Kyocera Domino on Cricut. Got this one in 2019. I don't have a battery for this one anymore because that battery pretty recently went from a battery, became a spicy pillow, so I'm going to have to throw that out. Not sure what this one here is doing because it actually doesn't work right off. This one is untested. This is a Samsung A437 on AT&T. Alright, so I just went ahead and double checked the rest of the phones in this set here make sure they're actually working so we're good now this is the samsung sch a870 on verizon got this one in 2022 got this one in 2022 as well here's my lg voyager on verizon got this one in 2021 here's my cr108 got this one in 2019 doesn't have a battery in it right now. Here's my LG VX4650 on Verizon. 
Got this one in 2021. Here's my LG Revere 3 on Verizon. Got this one in 2018, I believe. Here's my LG Accolade on Verizon. Got this one in 2021. Doesn't have a battery in it. Here's my Motorola V262 on Altel. Got this one in 2021. Not sure if it has a battery in it or not. Here's my LG FastTap on Altel. Got this one in 2022. Here's my Samsung Gusto 3 on Verizon. Got this one in 2019. Here's my LG UX300, I believe, on US Cellular. Got this one in 2022, I want to say. Here's my Kyocera Candid on Altel. Got this one in 2021, I believe. Here's my Samsung Sway on Verizon. I think I got this one in 2017. Here's my Blackberry Storm 2 on Verizon. Got this one in 2021. Oh. Looks like it's already on. Here's my ZTE Z222 on AT&T. Got this one in 2020. Here's my LG VX8350 on Verizon. Got this one in 2021. Here's my LG VX5200 on Verizon. Got this one in 2021. Here's my LG Cosmos 2 on Verizon. I believe I got this one in 2021. I could have gotten it in 2020 though. Here's my Samsung Convoy 3 on Verizon. Got this one in 2018. Here is an LG VX3200 on Altel. Got this one in 2022. Here's my LG UX390 on US Cellular. Got it in 2022. There we go. Back cover is kind of weird. Here's my LG 840G on track phone. Got this one in 2019. Here's another LG VX6100 on Verizon. Got this one in 2021. Here are two LG chocolates on Verizon. Got these in 2021. Here's one of my LG Cosmos on Verizon. I don't remember right off when I got this one. Here's a blue LG NV3 on Verizon. I forget when I got this one. Here's my Kyocera Soho on US Cellular. Got this one in 2019. Here's a Samsung SPH. M500 on Bell Canada. Got this one in 2022. Here's a Samsung Gusto 2 on Verizon. Got this one in 2018. Here are two Nokia 6102Is on Singular. Got both of these in 2021. Both are dead. Here's a Casio G's One Boulder on Verizon. Got this one in 2017. Here's an LG Revere on Verizon. Got this one in 2019, if I remember right. Here's a Nokia 1208 on Claro. Got this one in 2021. No battery. Here's a Sanyo Katana LX on Sprint. Got this one in 2022, I believe. Could have been 2021. 
Here are four Sanyo Incognitos on Boost Mobile. Got these in 2021. They don't have batteries. Here's a Samsung U540 on Verizon. Got this one in 2022. Here's an LG 285 on TELUS. Got this one in 2022. Here's a Nokia 3585i on US Cellular. Got this one in 20, uh, 2019. Here are two LG VX3200s on Verizon. Got them in 2022. This one is out of battery. Let's see if this one has any. Here's an LG VX8300 on Verizon. I believe I got this one in 2020. Here's an LG Lotus on Sprint. Got this one in 2021. Here's an LG LX160 on Sprint. Got this one in 2020. Here's a Samsung Messenger Touch on Cricut. Got this one in 2020. Here's a Nokia 1616, I believe, on T-Mobile. Got this one in 2021. Here's an LG 306G on TrackPhone. I believe I got this one in 2019. Here's a Sanyo SCP-7000, got this one back in 2016. And now we're moving on to some smartphones. Here's a Samsung Galaxy On 5 on T-Mobile. This phone has changed hands over the years, although I think recently I've had this one since 2022. Here's an LG Aristo on T-Mobile. Got this one in 2022. Or actually, I think I got it in 2021. I don't remember. Here's a Samsung Galaxy S5 on AT&T. Trying to remember when I got this one. I think I got this one in 2019. Here's an LG G3 on T-Mobile. Doesn't have a battery in it. And... Over the years since I've had it, this phone's case has gotten pretty battered. Actually, just a whole chunk of it fell off the other day. Got this one in 2018. Here's an LG Optimus Dynamic 2 on track phone. Got this one just a few months ago. You saw the quick unboxing of it. Here's an HTC One M8 on T-Mobile. Got this one back in 2018, if I remember right. Here's a Samsung Galaxy J3 Prime on Metro PCS. Got this one back in 2019. Here's a Samsung Galaxy S3 on T-Mobile. I think I got this one in 2017 or 2018. Here's an LG K30 on Metro PCS. Got this one in 2019. Here's a ZTE Savvy. On track phone, got this one in 2018. Here's an LG K3 on Boost Mobile, I believe. I believe I got this one in 2019. Here's a Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime on Cricut. Got this one in 2019. Here's an Alcatel Pixie Unite on track phone. I unboxed this phone back in 2017. HTC One S on T-Mobile. Got this one back in 2017 or 2018. Here's a Samsung Galaxy S3 on Boost Mobile. Got this one in 2019. Here's a Motorola Droid Turbo 2 on Verizon. Got this one back in 2019. Here's a HTC Desire 510 on Cricut. Got this one in 2018. Here's a Samsung Galaxy J3 Luna Pro on track phone. Got this one in 2020. Here's a Huawei Ascend X-T2 on AT&T. 
got this one in 2021. Here's a Samsung Galaxy S6. I think it's on Sprint. Let's find out. Yes, this one is on Sprint. Got it in 2021. Here's an LG Optimus S on Sprint. Got this one in 2021. Here's a Samsung Galaxy S3 on Sprint. Got this one in 2020. Here's an HTC Droid Eris on Verizon. Got this one in 2022, I believe. Here's a Samsung Transform on Sprint. Got this one in 2021. Here's an iPhone 3GS, or 3G, I forget, but it has a pressure crack in the screen. Here's a Samsung Galaxy S6, this one would have to be on Verizon. I'm not sure though. Yes, it is. I think I got this one in 2019. Here's a Samsung Galaxy S5 on T-Mobile. Got this one in 2021. Here's a Samsung Epic 4G Touch on Sprint. Got this one in 2016. And here's a Samsung Galaxy Core Prime on T-Mobile. Got this one in 2018. So, let's unlock these devices now.
All right, so that is part three of the September 2023 phone collection update. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for part four. Peace.